Yeah. Oh, Pull this, you're distracted. You don't know where you are. Nobody's coming at you. I want to be tonight. He's crazy, man. We're in war-torn Israel to test our skills and courage in a combat fighting style that takes no prisoners. Krav Maga. Can you take on 10 guys and not be scared? I'm Jimmy Smith, a professional mixed martial arts fighter and former math teacher from L.A. I'd be surprised if I walked tomorrow. I'm Doug Anderson, an Iraq war veteran and rookie fighter from New Jersey. You gotta fight the dude until he drops and then get away from him. Israel is just one stop on our journey as we explore the world's most dangerous fighting arts. This is our fight quest. I can't believe we're about to enter the old city of Jerusalem, man. This is incredible. For me, the first thing I think of when I think of Jerusalem is, you know, you think of religion. Yeah. But then the second thing you think of is warfare. I mean, this place has just been entrenched in conflict for as long back as anybody remembers. And you kind of understand where, like, a close quarter fighting style like Krav Maga would come from. <laughs> Krav Maga is hands down the most intense fighting style I've ever seen. <laughs> Over the next five days, Jimmy and I will be pushed to our limits as we train with two of Israel's toughest Krav Maga masters. Then, we'll face off against an entire gang of Krav Maga fighters in a final battle where there's only one way to win. Stay alive and standing at the end. So about meeting these masters, man, what do you expect to find out? That's what's kind of crazy about this one is I'm not really sure what to expect. You know, it's like, this is a style where they kill people. I mean, it's it's devised entirely for war. I'm Anna Kash from the IDF. Jimmy, excuse me. Welcome. I'm Bitcoin. Welcome to the Israel, the land of the Krav Maga. Watch and learn. As far as fighting styles go, Krav Maga is pretty modern. It was developed just before World War II as a way for the Jewish community to defend itself against the Nazis. It's a style from a totally different mentality. There's no dancing, there's no angling, there's none of that. It's just go straight in, kill the guy. Not many fighting styles where every combo starts with a kick to the groin. They target areas that are illegal for us to strike. In. In five days, we're going to come back over here and fight our best fighters. Yes, sir. Doug, you're coming with me to Khadera to train. Uh, actually, take it easy, man. Take care of yourself, all right? Okay. And Jimmy, we're going to the army. Yes, sir. Ron Nakash is in charge of Krav Maga training for the entire Israeli Defense Force, or IDF. It's almost like the, the things that are illegal in the sports I do are the things you're going after in Krav Maga. Yes. Groin, yes. eyes, Only. back of the neck. Only. Finish him as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Ron is taking me to the IDF training center at Wingate. It's the perfect place to learn the military's version of Krav Maga. I have never actually been on a military base before. My father was in, in the Air Force back in the, the 60s, but he didn't like it very much. So it wasn't like I grew up around military bases or military brat or anything like that. I'm yeah. in the Army now, yes. What is? All right. For the next five days, Ron wants me not only to learn Krav Maga, but also live the life of an Israeli soldier. I'm going to have to get used to the uniform. You know, it's like, I'm used to being a fighter. I'm used to, like, different geese and stuff that you fight in, but... To go, okay, now your soldier is a little different. It's a lot different. And uh, mentally, it's much harder. Okay, guys, this is Jimmy. He's our new soldier. Today, our lesson is going to be how to defend ourselves against a knife attack. The defense is going to be, first of all, attack me. This angle, this is one, this is two. From here, there's a lot of option. I can keep him in the groin. I can give him a knee to the face and hammer punch to the back of the head. After one and two, I made him tweets. One, two, Three to the head, okay? Let's go. One of the cardinal rules of Krav Maga is that you need to always defend and attack at the same time. While certain moves and techniques are associated with this fighting style, Ron says that Krav Maga is also a mentality, and the key word is aggression. This feels like body armor. I've never sparred anything like this before. Jimmy! Now, Ron wants me to learn how to stand my ground against a mob attack. Kalila, Jimmy. Yes, sir. I'm going to stand over here. Yes, sir. You're going to protect this side. Yes, sir. Nobody is going to. Okay. Yes, sir. The reason that I put Jimmy in the middle and everybody's crash on him is to be strong in the head, like a soldier. When shooting on you, you need to be strong. Strong up here. 
It's only the beginning. Whew, that was rough. Heart, this is all today was about. It was heart and balls. That was it. You know, can you take on 10 guys and not be scared? Quitting's not an option. That's Krav Maga right now. That's all I know. How many years have you been practicing? I trained since I was eight or seven years old in Krav Maga, and this is all my life. Avivi Cohen is the top ranked woman in the world of Krav Maga. She represents the civilian branch of this fighting style, founded by the legendary Haim Zhu. I can tell Avivi is a serious fighter, and the fact that her gym is in a bomb shelter is beginning to worry me. Welcome to hell. You weren't kidding about the bomb shelter, No, huh? no, I'm not. This guy is the guy that you're going to train with. What's up, guys? How you doing? I have two shirts to give you, with the symbol of the Krav Maga, and you have also pants, go dress, and start to train. Right. Okay. Avivi just introduced me to all the guys, and they're just like staring me down like they can't wait to kick me in the teeth. So it's always great to have a warm welcome. Doug, are you ready? Okay. Okay, I want this. One, two. Okay, I move with my shoulder. Okay, I want to uh, to work with you on the elbows. If you are close to me, I, I give you that. Oh, I give you that. Oh, okay. Let's do it. She's crazy, man. Like, I'm, I'm used to instructors, like, they'll demonstrate a move, but I'm not used to them, like, just coming up and elbowing you in the face. It's, it's shocking. Like, she hit me with the first one that hit me. I wasn't ready for it at all. But it's, I mean, it gets the point across. You definitely learn your lessons quick. Before I learn anything more about Krav Maga, Avavit wants to see what I'm made of by having me fight everyone in the class. I want to see how tough he is. Yeah. Now, five guys, half a minute each one of them, okay? Voilà. They're all gonna come at me one at a time for uh, 30 seconds each. So they're all fresh. I stay in the middle and get tired. This is like straight into the deep end. <sighs> Ready, go! Stop! I want the gloves on. I'm tasting a little bit of tooth in my mouth already. Yeah, I uh, got hit a couple times. There's some bits of tooth floating around in my mouth, so <sighs> gotta treat, try to keep my teeth together. So tough. Five seconds. Kick my ass. Alla, go. The last time. Give you all, all what you got, okay? Alla, go. All what you got. Stop. Doug, are you okay? Trying to get a footlock. It's hard with the gloves. And uh it gets a bit difficult when you're being kicked in the face too. These guys are nuts. Bonker Tov, Fevri. Bonker Tov. Jimmy, good morning. Seven minutes, everybody outside. Uh, I don't think they're gonna go particularly loud on me today. Today's probably gonna be pretty rough. Gotta be ready for anything. It's my second day of training with the IDF, and my first lesson in using an unloaded gun as a weapon. No, no, you don't, no, you don't do it inside, inside the gym, only outside. Gotcha. No okay, because if you have a bullet, a bullet inside is a problem. Yeah. First one. One, two. Yes, and go back. That's it. Oh, 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 oh. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. Go inside, yes. You're gonna take your weapon now and do the same sequence you did now on a very attackless. Yes. Okay, do it hard. You need to attack everyone. With just the weapon. Just the weapon. Just the weapon. Okay, so just the weapon. This is what we learned today. This is the first yes. technique, basic. Okay. This weapon is more stronger than your kick or your punch. Before today, I've never handled a machine gun, and all of these moves are completely foreign to me. You're distracted, you don't know where you are. 
Nobody's coming at you. You can't panic. You just hit back. It's like being in a fight in a crowded market. Now I have to do the same thing with my eyes closed. I'm just training under very controlled circumstances. A certain time and a certain place with certain rules. Their training is the exact opposite of that. You have to be anywhere, anytime, in any condition to do anything. That's the difference. That's what makes it so difficult. It's day two with Abhavi, and after yesterday's beatings, I have to admit I'm a little worried. Today she's taking me to a palm grove, not far from the Jordanian border, for my first real lesson in Krav Maga technique. The most important thing is that we are, when somebody is attack you and hug you in the street, you must to hit him in a vulnerable point, like eyes, like nose, like knee, uh, knee to the b****s. Now I want you to go to hide behind the trees, okay? Doug, I want you to watch me, how, how I will do it. Okay. Okay, bye. I have a V makes it look easy, but I'm pretty sure her students are terrified of her. I have a feeling they're not going to be so afraid of me. Come on, people. They're dead. I go. It's crazy, it's just, it's real fighting. I mean, there's no stopping, there's no, nobody's gonna jump in and break it up for you. You gotta fight the dude until he drops and then get away from him. Get up, get up. It's not so good. I don't want to take you to the ground because if, if it was me and we are on the ground, I will put it to the, your face, okay? And then you don't want to, you, you can't see. He's right, like it's my instinct to take a guy to the ground and try to grapple him. But on the street in a real life situation, if there's more than one guy, or if that guy has a weapon, you don't necessarily want to go to the ground. I mean, if he's got a friend, his friend's just gonna stomp on my head. Run, relax. Avavita's given me one more chance to run the gauntlet. This time, I'm gonna do whatever I can to stay on my feet. <laughs> Not you go, not you go. Now you're dead. Stop. Now you're dead. You are dead now, Dak. It's gonna be rough. After working with a gun all morning, Ron wants me to end my day with one more exercise. They like sticking me with the biggest guy, so it's gonna be a meat grinder. I know it already. I know it already. The purpose of this exercise that you learn how to work under pressure. Pressure is when you shoot at you, you still need to accomplish your assignment. Okay, your assignment now is to attack the bag. This is your assignment. And they, okay, are going to hit you, grab you, push you, and you still, you don't, you don't touch them. Only one minute, one minute, go! Hey, 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 hey. Attack the bag, attack the bag, Jimmy! A lot of times in jiu-jitsu, or in boxing, you take the easy way. You don't trade punches with a stronger guy. You don't ice skate uphill. I bet that's... It's not you always take the hard way here. The soldier mentality is whatever's in front of you, get past them. There are 10 guys in your way, you get through. You just don't give up. Smile, that's so. Die. Very good. That hurt. This is more like bull riding than fighting. It's unbelievable. Don't get, never don't get to the floor because there are three now. That is your lesson today. Ala, get up. Go, you have not, nothing. I'm totally beat. But Ava Veet wants me to face my attackers one more time. Never go down. Never go down. Go, go. Yeah, go. You don't have time now. To the face. To the face. Yes, that's the... Exactly. Ala, go, go, go. Run. Stop. 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 And now let's think about Krav Maga. If you can use something that is in the ground, this is my, you know, like a gun, like a stick. I've been there. Okay? Whatever you can. Okay? No mercy. No rules in Krav Maga. Avavi, I really have no doubt that she is, uh, she's partially insane. She's not a stable human being. Dude, I, I've been in the army. I've, I've fought a lot of people. I've, I've gone through some rough things in my life. But <laughs> nothing compares to, like, the tortures that she's putting me through. This is, this is hard, hardcore. Here in this place, in the center of Hadera, is a bus stop. It, it, I wore where is the, a two-bound suicide with a bus here. 
So, really? yeah. And you were here for yeah, it? Yeah, I was here and the bus is, you know, exploded. All the blood and all the stuff. So, uh, <laughs> in this area, you need to know how to use the Krav Maga. It's crazy. It's my third day with Ava V, and I think I'm beginning to understand what makes her tick. <laughs> Today's lesson is all about defending yourself against a weapon's attack. Okay. Wow. Take the knife. Yeah, now you're almost like a police officer in Israel. Sticks. The most important in the stick that you need, you must go inside the person that have the stick. If I'm here and he come from above, I'm just like just this one. I want to get closer to him. Okay. So the closer, the closer I get into his body, the more power I'm taking away from it. Yes. Okay. In order for a stick to hurt you got to have a swing behind it. Like if, if you're in tight against a guy and he's doing this, you're fine. You're not going to get hurt, even in the face. No big deal. So the whole concept behind uh, stick defense is to get inside, get tight, and then take the weapon from him. Yeah, start. Yeah, kick, kick to the Take the stick. Use the shield. Yeah, this. One, two, three, four. Never be in the center. Always move. What? It's so hot in there. Oh, it's disgusting. As if, like, being kicked in the face isn't bad enough. You gotta get kicked in the face in a bomb shelter where it's 125 degrees. <laughs> sure looks like he's been in a shower. It's day three of Krav Maga boot camp, and Ron's right-hand man, Ifta, starts me off with some old-fashioned military drills. You run towards the sea. Crawling, two meters, and then one towards me. Ready? Go! Go, 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 go! Like Ron, Iftat is a Krav Maga master and every bit as ruthless. Go, 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 go! Ah. Next reel. You're gonna crawl until when I whistle. You run towards me as fast as you can. Go! Go, team, go! Manage the kofto, manage the kofto. Manage the kofto, manage the kofto. I love the ocean, but the drills in the sand are rough, man. They're rough, they add a new dimension to everything. All right, Jimmy. Yes, sir. The next drill is made to simulate a real life situation. On this hill, there's gonna be a lot of people. These people are not nice. These people will try to hit you, try to kill you. And if you want to defend yourself, you will die. Don't stop. Keep moving. Keep attacking. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 what do you think of the drill? Hard, sir. Hard? Yes, sir. What do you think of your technique? How was it? Not good enough, sir. Not good enough. You're right. The next one is going to be without your weapon. Yes, sir. And now, I want it to be excellent. Yes, sir. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Get him down, Jimmy. Get him down. Jimmy, get out. Get out, Jimmy. 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 Don't give up, Jimmy. Come on, come on, come on. Go, Jimmy. Go, go, go. Stop. Very good, man. Very good. Go, go, go. You can't breathe. Your lungs are just caked with salt. That was a terrible drill. I'm not much of a puker, and I was like, up the mountain the second time after all this stuff, pretty sure I was going to puke. After a morning at the gym, Ava V is taking me on a field trip to the lowest point on Earth, the Dead Sea. Guys, want to take a swim? You can. I'm gonna try it, man. It's really like swimming in olive oil or something. The high salt content of the water means you can float without trying. Dude, it's like it's like being on a life raft minus the life raft. It's crazy. For the first time in two days, I actually feel relaxed. But something tells me this isn't going to last. What? What? What's me I'm the going water. to teach you now chokes <laughs> from the sides. When you want to take you down, you take a hand to the and then you take the ends and do it like this, or to the eyes, or to the hair, or to here, okay? And, and taking ta take down, okay? okay? We're, uh, we're training in the water because uh, it makes it that much more difficult to balance. The buoyancy of the water here prevents you from having like steady ground. It, it's always pushing against you. So this is just kind of like a balance drill working in here. Why, why do you enter with sex? <laughs> I thought that was the thing to do. Okay. <laughs> He's a staff American with sex now. Okay, I can't beat you up. <laughs> the desert is super hot, but Avavi says it's time for a round of circuit training. Doc, ready? 
And go! Zip, it's not I've never had a female trainer before. But she's absolutely ten times tougher than any man trainer I've ever had. Faster, faster! Go, go to the center! Go, go, give everything! Kick with the soul! If you die, you work! You don't stop to work, okay? Rob! Yeah, good! All right, go, go, in running, in running! Stop! Breathe! Take a good breath. Like that was. Each station was 15 seconds. And 15 seconds feels like an eternity. Like the first 15 go by fast. It's no big deal. The second 15, you're like, man, it's 15 seconds should have been up by now. The third 15, you're like, dude, I could have like eaten a meal, taken a nap in the course that it's taken me to hit this pack. It's so exhausting because you're being explosive and throwing everything you have into each attack. <sighs> what we are going to do is hugs. Hey, fuck, 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 hey. Go away, okay? Okay, stop. If someone attack you like that, you do this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Okay. Why? This is like a hammer. This is vulnerable point. If you punch in this uh, place, you send him to maybe to the hospital, maybe to the synagogue. Okay? <laughs> you sit up, stand, punch. Because I have a habit of spending too much time on the ground, Avavit wants to end my day with Krav Maga-style sit-ups. And go! Ha, come on! Hey! Come on! No, no, I want to hear the noise from the back! I want to hear the noise! Hey, come on down! Come on! Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Don't use your hands! Come on! 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 Thank you. Gotta... As crazy as she is, at the end of the day, I understand that Avivi really does care about me. She has an odd way of showing it, you know, but she she does care about me. And she wants me to do well in my final fight, and this is this is her way of, of getting me ready. We are Krav Maga. It's not like a Thai box. It's not like MMA. It's not like JJC fights. This is the street. It is your life. It's the matter of li or life or you dead. Jimmy, good morning. How was the night? Good, sir. Sleep good. okay? Slept well. It's my last full day of training with the IDF, and today's lesson is all about the realities of living under siege. This is knives that Hezbollah tried to hit Israeli soldiers in real life. Okay. You can see that from a lighter, from a lighter, they made a knife and tried to stab. This is like prison style in America. Yeah, same, 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 same. See, you know what is it? So it looks like a nail file. Yeah, it's a nail file. When you're in that mentality, you're in a state of tension all the time. All the time. Exactly. All the time. So you can never feel, even surrounded by other soldiers, safe. No. It's 24 7, and you'll be, you need to be alert. 24 7, every day. Every day. To emphasize this very real point, Ron is taking me into a rough neighborhood for a mock patrol exercise. This is a civilian area, okay? You can't shoot civilian people. You need to use your technique that you learn in the gym. You yes, ready? Sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Very good, Jimmy. Very good. Continue. Shoot. Hello, Akbar. Yeah. Yes, yes, yo. Good, Jimmy. The drill is actually really distracting. It's really different because it's hard to keep focused on exactly where everything's coming from. Be ready. Go, Jimmy. Go. Hello, Akbar. Hello, Akbar. Very good. Encore. I told Moon. That changes things, man. That's good. I like that. Okay. Can I kick your ass, all right? All right, good. I'm used to reacting with my hands, not with this. So it takes a second to go lock with the gun and then go through the whole motion. And that's what this drill is all about, is to react with what I have. On Friday, you're going to have the final test. So now I need to, to prepare you how to do it. And you need to do all what you, we learned until now. Okay. And if you go down, all of them going to you, beat on you. Right. OK? The final fight, or the final challenge, is going to consist of uh, me in the middle of a circle full of guys who are just coming at me with weapons, unarmed, trying to tackle me. And uh, 
I've got to be able to, to think quick and just respond, react to every type of attack. Go. Stop, stop. If somebody choke me like that, then the far hands go here, just go to the nuts, and then elbow, OK? Full power, OK, Doc? And go. There's so much going on. I gotta pay attention to every guy attacking me and still, like, stay focused on the technique, doing it right. I keep just, like, reverting to, they stab at me and I'm just, like, swatting it away like it's a jab. <sighs> I'm not looking at this final fight as, as a sport or as a match. I'm looking at it very much as me being thrown into, like, a prison yard and being expected to survive until somebody can come save me. <laughs> You always need to move, and it's very, very difficult. And now there are just four. In the final test, there are going to be 10 or 15. Jimmy, now I'm going to tell you about your last test. You're going to fight our 10 best fighters, 15 seconds each to each fight. OK, yes, they're going to be in a circle, and you're in the middle, OK? Yes, sir. Let's go get your gear on, and let's fight. Yes, sir. Final fight's tough. It's very tough. It's, it's um, 10 people, 15 seconds. That's a long time when you're in there. You know, what I've learned about Krav Maga so far is it's your aggression and your ability to stay focused under a whole lot of pressure. So it's more of a test of your endurance and, and your ability to keep moving forward, and that's hard. Jimmy, be ready. Yes, sir. 15 seconds each one. Ready? Go! I don't like the screaming, okay? Nobody care about your screaming. You're not a little girl. You need to get up and keep on fighting. Be strong, Jimmy. My thighs are shot. They've been beat up for the last three days. My thigh muscles, and they won't respond, so I can't explode from my core at all. You ready, Jimmy? Yes, sir. Be strong. Yes, sir. No pain. No pain. You're going to attack no matter what. Ready? Ready? Get up! Right away, they attack my injured thigh again. These guys are definitely out of control. First day, I managed the big guy demolish my thighs I've been looking for two days. And then today is the first thing everybody went after. If you can't get support on your thighs, if you can't base, you can't hold yourself, you're a punching bag. You're a punching bag. I'll be surprised if I can walk tomorrow. I'll be very surprised. I'll be very surprised. It's my last day at Wingate, and after yesterday's pounding, there's no way I can do any training. Pretty much my quads, my thighs are just destroyed. They're just demolished. I've lived a soldier's life. Do I feel like a soldier? In some ways I do because they accept me as one. And that's really the important part to me. So Jimmy. Yes, sir. This week passed away very fast. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Pass slowly to me. <laughs> Slow to you. So you're feeling ready for tomorrow? I'll be ready for tomorrow, sir. Yes. yes. Next few hours I'll heal up. I'll be ready to go. OK. I won't surrender, sir. No problem. It was nice to meet you. Thank you very much for everything, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Five hearts Thank tomorrow, you, for sure. I will, my That wasn't exactly true. It would take at least a week for my thighs to really heal. I just hope Doug is in better shape than me. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Nice to see you again. You haven't experienced Israel until this chick has bit you in the throat. How you feeling, man? Good? For me, on like a scale of one to 10, this week was a 37, dude. Really? It was like insane. It was just crazy. I mean, these guys, when they train, they go full force with no pads. Are you ready to get out of here, man? Maybe clean up and get rid of that black guy? Yeah, something? dude, I'm tired of getting beat up. If I, <laughs> if I get a couple minutes off, I'd appreciate it. All right, I'll be. Thanks. Thanks for everything. I appreciate it. I'm scared. Whenever I hug you, I want to be like this. Keep going. <laughs> I'll see you in my nightmares. So what do you, what do you think about tomorrow? This is one of those fights, honestly, where 
the, I, none of the technique I've learned will mean anything at all. It's just a matter of going through a bunch of guys. And the only thing that will stop me is the training's been really rough and I'm really sore and I'm really hurt. What about you? Like, it's stupid to say, but I feel like I just like looked death in the face so many times this week. You know, like death from another man's fists <laughs> that it, I don't even care. Whatever, whatever they want to throw at me tomorrow, I'm as ready as I can be for it. Mentally, I'm ready for it, you know? It's fight day, and it looks like Jimmy's up first. He gets a cup, gloves, and shin pads, but no thigh protection. It's just a couple minutes of hell at the worst, right? Yep. It's 10 guys, 15 seconds each, and the only way to win is to remain standing. If I go down, I get up again. That's all I gotta keep in my head. Jimmy's gonna fight 10 guys in a row. <laughs> they're, they're just gonna come at him and unload everything they have, full power, for 15 seconds each. Like, by the third guy, Jimmy's gonna be probably pretty close to being exhausted, and then he's still gonna have seven more dudes to fight. This is, this is, it's crazy. I want to see you fight. Go forward, don't not stop, okay? Hit him the hardest you can. Yes, sir. Handle it like a soldier. Yes, sir. To the end. Yes, sir. Okay, face them. Let's go, Jim. Jimmy, ready? Yes, sir. Go! against 10 Krav Maga soldiers is getting ugly. The last guy destroyed his injured leg, and I'm not at all sure I can face number 10. It's just the damage that his leg has taken. I, I wanted to run in there a couple times and just attack these dudes. Like, yo, his leg is screwed, and they keep just bashing. Come on! Don't shut up! In the middle, Jimmy. Dude, he made it. Oh, my God. I thought I was gonna have to jump in there and fight with him. Jimmy survived, but just barely. Now it's my turn to take on 10 Krav Maga fighting machines. And this time, they're gonna have weapons. I'm scared, honestly, I'm scared. Like, this is probably one of the most frightening things I've ever done in my life. You do your best, you learn a lot, you do whatever you can, okay? Always fuck aside, don't focus on one person. Okay, good luck, man. Allah. In go! <laughs> Don't turn your back, stay on him, stay on him, come on, Doug, come on, Doug, stay on him, buddy. Deep breath, deep breath, go. That's three down and seven to go. If Doug wants to make it, he's got to stay off the ground. Always look where is the knife, always. Very good. 
good. That's right. That's right. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. That's right. Fight, Doug. Fight, Doug. Fight, Doug. Fight, Doug. Fight, Come on, Doug. Get after him, Doug. Stay on him, Doug. Stay behind him, Doug. Head out, Doug. Head out. Head out, Doug. Head out, Head out, Doug. Head out, Doug. Head Doug, face him, come on! He did great. I'm very happy for him. Still stand and he's still working and that's the spirit of the real fighter. And in the street, that is the, the most important. Never give up. My vote. Thanks a lot. Thanks, bro. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm all right. Good. Good job. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Thanks, man. Learning Krav Maga has been an unforgettable experience for both of us. But I'm seriously glad it's all over. So, uh, I think we won, right? Uh, we're alive, aren't we? It doesn't feel like we won. Oh, it doesn't feel like we won at all, man. You know, they keep saying, oh, come back and visit us. I'm like, I'll come back and visit you if I don't have to go through this again. If we can just be friends and hang out, I'll definitely do that. My number one question through all this was like, why train Krav Maga when I could just spend 40 bucks on a taser? <laughs>